chi in uh in um you know buddhist tradition or um you know others um i think you know and that's my opinion because you know just based on the description that's given um you know it's it's seen it's described as this substance that's prevailing everything that's that's in everything and that as uh all this like uh how do you say um interaction with everything that has very strong interaction with with the physical world uh and that can that can be influenced by consciousness that carries information i mean the description that's given by these ancient tradition of chi is very much a description of what we think of uh, in terms of modern interpretation of the quantum uh, vacuum fluctuation. When I mean modern interpretation of the quantum vacuum fluctuation, I mean basically our interpretation here at the Resonance Science Foundation um, and, and others, you know, starting to catch on that this insane amount of energy that's in the vacuum is not just some background noise that you can ignore, but it's the source of the material world. Of course, the vacuum um, structure uh, and uh, your interaction with the vacuum structure is not only in your heart. Your heart is, um, is a central point of interaction for your consciousness and, and the way the physiology of the body function in the way it distributes the information. But every atom, every proton, every electron, everything you're made of is constantly interacting with the vacuum. But, they, but, but the structure of the physiology of your body, how the vacuum organizes the material structure to produce you makes nodes, very important nodes in your body uh, that the ancient Vedic called chakras, you know, mm -hmm. um, that, um, that many traditions identified and, and certainly the Taoist tradition and the Buddhist tradition identify even, you know, the smaller uh, interaction point, which are the meridian, you know, on your body and exactly mm -hmm. And so, and, and how these meridian energize the body. And so this is all absolutely correct. The hara is, is the gravitational center of your body, right? So it, it holds the information connecting you to the event horizon of our planet, right? It's the power source of your body. Uh, and so it's very accurate to uh, to uh, entertain and um, and to create higher level of sophistication of uh, uh, an, an awareness of this uh, of that point in your body so that you have a strong connection to the earth um, morphogenetic field to the earth um, information field and uh, but the but it, the hara works with the heart center works with the throat center works with the third eye center works with the crown i mean like each one is just um, a physiological relationship to each other that produce your body and the, your body would not function if you removed any of them now if you um you can think about it as all these centers as being spheres, like chi balls, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now imagine, imagine these chi balls, you know, um, they are separated into your body because, and this is what I believe, I don't have an equation for that yet, but I, I'm working on it. Um, but um, it, uh, I believe, uh, is um, uh, is separated um, 
by those because we live on the surface of a planet meaning on the surface of a planet there's a strong what is called tidal gravity force tidal gravity is the fact that there is more gravity at your feet than at your head mm -hmm. right this is why if you have a candle a little flame in you know near a strong tidal gravity source like the surface of the earth then um then the the flame will be elongated right you can see it the flame is elongated right it's a it's like a tear shape mm -hmm. right but if you bring that same candle to space away from a large uh gravitational field right uh because the tidal gravity is not so strong there then that flame looks like a ball so look up like you'll see pictures of it if you look up uh, you know candle flame in space it's probably come up something along those lines um so 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 my opinion is that actually if we uh, we're ultimately living in space for a very extended period of time. Our chi balls may actually all come back together into one ball, you know? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And, and we may evolve in a long period of time as a spherical being, <laughs> you know? Uh, you know, and, and so on. So, I don't know, but... Uh, but we could think of our energy body becoming spherical in that sense, right? So we're elongated because we're near a large gradient in the gravitational field.